I, I love it. <laughs> so you have, you have beautiful products here. Uh, I love the colors and you're gonna tell us about your new product. Mm -hmm. This was your previous product, right? This is correct. Okay. Uh, give us a little brief introduction. Mm -hmm. uh, your in name, Korean? your company in English would yeah. be great. I, we're, we're gonna send this abroad. Okay. So uh, in English would be great. Your name and your company and uh, a little about your products. Okay. To you? Yeah, <laughs> let's have a conversation. <laughs> okay, nice to meet you. My name is Jeff Jo, a CEO of uh, MoKibo. And we uh, invented the Fusion Keyboard uh, three years ago. Okay. The, the Fusion Keyboard is that the keyboard that doubles as a touchpad. So you can control touchpad on top of the keyboard itself. Mm. So this whole surface of keyboard is also large, large touchpad. So you don't need to bring a keyboard, a mouse or a trackpad separately. So you can type it. And if you uh, scroll your mouse, and then it just works as a mouse, or, or zoom in out, and, and then gestures, it all works. Wow. So very convenient, and small, thin, and light, and very compact. It's, it's awesome. So this is like your representative product. This was your original product of That's Mokibo. Correct. Yep. The Fusion keyboard combining a mouse, a keyboard, and a touchpad all in one. Yes, yes. Very cool. Who was, who was the original target market of this? Just so I can get a little company background. Yeah, because uh, these days the uh, portable uh, device is getting large. Uh -huh. A lot of people use a tablet PC or a smartphone, even smartphone works as a computer. So they need uh, input devices, but it is very small and portable, but input devices, keyboard and mouse is not portable. Right. It's not designed for the port portable devices. Right. So I thought uh, because the keyboard and mouse, they seldom use uh, in the same time. Right. So we right, just right. share time and then share time. We share the space uh -huh. in the different time. So the feeling keyboard was invented. In okay, the... so this, this was uh, your target market was people who needed a truly portable device. Yeah, like not, the, the... not several separate ones that they bring right, out and right, they pull here and they right, pull like right. I do and set here and yeah. set here. Everything all in one. Yeah. So this was your original product. This, however, I've never seen your new yeah. product. <laughs> yes. What is this called? Uh, we call this one a, a free angle stand cover because I often use uh, iPad with uh, this Fusion keyboard. It's really com convenient. But I just have some uh, pain point. I found a pain point of uh, this uh, uh, iPad and then stand cover, normal cover. So one point I found is that you can never change the angle. So there are some, some uh, sun reflections or if you wanna just uh, Adjust, adjust yeah. the angle, it's impossible. So I just put my uh, pencils underneath like this. Yeah. Uh, and that is really inconvenient. So I just uh, start to thinking. And then there's one more thing I felt uh, inconvenient is that when you uh, use your Apple Pencil, uh -huh. you have to put this device all the way around like this. Uh -huh. And then the cord, the, uh, the charging cable goes this way. Uh -huh. And then most importantly, uh, when you do Apple Pencil mode, you have to put Apple Pencil in the underneath. It's ridiculous. I think it's ridiculous. It's very inconvenient. Yeah, it's, so it's, a, we it's think, a lot of movement. Yeah. So we think and then we invented this uh, uh, free angle stand cover. And then the difference is that we put uh, this side and this side, it does some magnet match. Uh -huh. Then you put this like this and then you can adjust the angle from 55 to 75. 55 to 75. 75. You can adjust the angle. This is really convenient. So if there is some, some sun reflection, you can just change the angle. And I, I love the material too. Yeah. It's so nice to touch. Yeah, we use a premium materials. Yeah. And then one more thing is uh, when you type it here, and then suddenly you need to uh, draw something with the mm -hmm. Apple Pencil, you can just adjust the angle like this. Boom. Ah, without we, having to flip yeah, the other without, way. Yeah, and then the Apple Pencil keep uh, located in the top. So, so I like this one. So I made this one for my use. You're, you're a true entrepreneur and inventor. <laughs> you solved one problem yeah. and then came up another problem. Right. So then you tackled this problem. So you found this could be very convenient, but once you solve the problem of portability and convenience of the mouse, the touchpad, and the keyboard, yes. all of a sudden this became the problem, right? Right. right. So a new problem to solve. Yep. So this is called the, the 
free angle. Free angle stand cover. And it just adjusts from 50 degrees to 75 degrees. 55 to 75. 55 to 75. Easy yeah. to remember. 55 to 75. It's really mm. nice to touch. Mm. And you solve several, like many different problems with this. Right. The idea of user efficiency, right. user intuitiveness. That's correct. And uh, glare angle. Right. All in one product. That's correct. That's correct. Who. And I, I ask you because from a business standpoint, I have to ask who your target market was, but mm. it seems like to me your first target market was you. Uh, that is correct. <laughs> Which I, is wonderful. Me and my team okay. really need this kind of uh, um, invention, so we need to think together and then so, we might be. So obviously you think to yourself, if I have this problem right. and we have this problem, That's correct. more people have this problem. That's correct. We felt uh, a lot of people will have the same problem and uh -huh. then they just they don't know how to fix it. So. You, you tried. When did this product come to market? Uh, last year in June. Okay. We uh, introduced in what is this crowdfunding in Korea mm -hmm. first time, and then now it's selling on the market in Korea. Uh, Korean market. There you go. Many many people uh, around the international community, uh, myself being an American, we know Kickstarter, but in Korea, the crowd, the big crowdfunding app is What is, what? and that's what you launched on last. June, you said. Yes, June, yep. Okay, so now this product is available here. It looks like you have two different sizes, obviously for the two different iPad sizes, mm -hmm, correct? Mm -hmm. You have different color options available as well now. That's correct. Are these selling abroad? Uh, yeah, we have, uh, uh, we have uh, our website and it's selling all over the world. Okay. If you, someone visit it. <laughs> where, where um, if I wanna get it here, do I just go straight to Coupon, for example? Yeah, we we selling a uh, fusion keyboard coupon long time from a long time ago. Uh -huh. and we just start to selling a uh, frame recently in coupon and neighbor. And and if if I'm in America, being American, I have to ask: Are these available on Amazon? Uh, actually, uh, a lot of stock of a uh, frame just arrived in the U.S. right now. Congratulations! <laughs> and then we are uh, ready to go on Amazon. And then if uh, somebody in America, they uh, order, make an order in my website, so the delivery will be a few days. There you go. Yep. Mm -hmm. So you can order off the website already, the international customers. However, you're gonna approach other markets like Amazon and such. Mm -hmm. You're in the States, are you in a lot of countries? Are you in most countries around the world? Are you looking for a specific new target market mm -hmm. right now? What are you thinking international at the moment? Yeah, actually uh, the target customer is uh, the people who are using iPad. Uh -huh. so, all over the world, all over the world, so many people using iPad, but uh, mostly we are uh, focused in our Korean market and US market, okay. and then Japanese market, okay. and some Europe market. So, okay, yeah. so focusing on Jap J the Japanese market, Korean market, and US market, and wanting to focus more into possibly the European market. That's great. Okay. I, I I I love the feel of this. I just really? I touched it earlier because I just felt the back. <laughs> yeah. This is such kind of. A no, I, and I, th I think this is very true. When anyone sees products like this, they think to themselves, why didn't I think of that? So uh -oh. it, it seems like a no-brainer product for a very uh, a problem that many people would have, but you did such an elegant solution. Mm. I know that many different companies make cases and they make stands and right. you know, they make portable keyboards that aren't touch like yours. Mm. Do you have any competitors with this product? Uh and yes. is there anything else out there like this? Okay, uh, there are uh, similar products who can uh, change the angle. Mm -hmm. Mostly they have uh, some very uh, metal uh, hinges. Okay. Metallic hinges so they can uh, make, uh, make adjust the angle. Yes. There is a uh, product something like that, but uh, the problem is that it's very uh, heavy yep. and then um, it's expensive. I've used one of the hinges. Right. I also don't like the fact, the one that I have at home, I wish I had one of these. The one that I had at home, you have to change one hinge at a time. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and so like, if you don't get it in the exact right hole, it like does this, right, right. but yours is so convenient like this. They're very thin. Uh, and then uh, the, the outfit of a uh, sand cover is uh, very similar to normal uh, sand cover out there, but we just invented uh, the magnet match this side and this side, and mm -hmm. we uh, added this function, okay. uh, angle change function, the same material, same thickness, same weight. Uh, that is, I think, that is innovation. Yeah, sure. And then, uh, actually, we uh, introduced this uh, 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 stand cover last year, June, okay. but uh, I, I found out that Apple, <laughs> this year, this year in May, they introduced another 
new type of um, uh, smart cover, uh -huh. uh, they can change the, the angle. angle. Similar to this, but a little bit different. So but, but by chance, you, you brought this, did you bring this to CES last year? Yes. By chance, did some Apple employees come and check out your book? A lot of Apple employees, <laughs> they, they, they asked me to give them, so I gave them. Of course. Of what are you going to yeah. say? Yeah. What are you going to say? No, not for, no, for no. Apple employees? I, I just, everybody, I just gave it sure. away. Yeah. Sure. Because I'm uh, hoping they have some, uh, find out some good idea from us and uh -huh. then make uh, some cooperation. Sure. That's, uh, that's what I was hoping. Yeah, of course you want to collaborate. However, obviously while the goal was collaboration, competitive, market competitiveness is also not a bad thing. It pushes new innovation. Right. How is your product different than from the Apple product? Can I ask that question? Sure, sure. Uh, what Apple make uh, their new uh, stand cover, smart cover, mm -hmm. is that they put, uh, originally, normally, the digital type is the original one. Yes. And what they uh, uh, developed is uh, they changed the angle this way, okay. like this. Uh -huh. Like this. Yep. So they uh, changed the angle in this way. Yep. So uh, when they want, when they want to uh, Apple Pencil, they still they have to rotate. They still the have Apple. to flip. Yeah, there is a just a half invention of a free angle. Sure, I believe. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree with you. I agree <laughs> yeah. with you. I still, anyway, they find out the need of uh, angle adjustment, uh -huh. and I just play that they they found it. So that means a lot of other uh, third party uh, manufacturer will follow what they do. Of course, and I'm speaking with Jeff. Thank you. Jay. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank I you. really appreciate it. Thank you. It's really very much. cool. Thank you too. I got I gotta feel this one as well.